What is up, y'all? It's the homie Koru back with another video. I hope y'all are doing well. I had an idea for a video today. It's a small break from our Kybalion series, which you should totally check out if you have not yet. Um, hopefully finishing that one up soon. Got tons of cool video ideas that I really wanna do um, that I'm kind of excited about. This one today, I was a little nervous about, a little, just gonna jump in and do it, all right? Um, and that is I'm gonna be reviewing slash explaining my own music. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a musician. I spent most of my early adult life per completely pursuing music. That's all I care about, all I wanted to do. I have um, maybe a couple videos about that that I put out recently, kind of like what to do next, whatever. And I was going to put out more music. I'm never gonna stop putting out music. I love music, but um, that's not really like 100% of my focus, no matter what, it's just trying to do that anymore, obviously with the Hermetic videos that I've been doing recently. But that being said, I did re-release some music on Spotify that has been out. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. This is Lonely Highway. And this is a collection of singles that I put out in late 2019, early 2020. Um, and what I was trying to do was release like, I think it was like a song a week I was trying to do. And I did it for a while. Um, it was honestly really fun. Um, but of course, I didn't keep up with it. And I've never been amazing at doing the social media stuff. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, I'm working hard on it for sure. Um, <laughs> I hate social media stuff, which, you know, you have to do the social media stuff. YouTube's like kind of halfway between social media and like TV now. Um, YouTube is like its own thing, which is why I'm here, which is why I'm doing YouTube because I love YouTube. Posting on Instagram, I don't even know how people do social stuff. It's it's not my thing. Um, still want to get better at it. Anyway, back to the music. So these singles, I just started making tons and tons of random stuff. And it was honestly really fun to put out music every week and to like kind of like I've noticed like there's this thing about being creative where you get inspiration, right? You get inspiration, you feel inspired and you're like, I need to put this into music. But you don't always just feel inspired no matter what is one thing that I've learned is sometimes you have to like sit down and have a routine and when you get started and when you get in the zone and when you like continue to create maybe if, even if you didn't feel like it or or whether or not you were like felt like you were totally in the zone that day I have noticed in my personal experience that the more you create the better you get at creating the better you get at actually unleashing your creativity that you have inside um personal observation um i really enjoyed putting out all of these singles um and for this release specifically on spotify is the only place that you can find this song imagination is reality um and that is a just a one-off that i did recently i have not been making a lot of music recently I've been going through a lot of life stuff which we're not going to talk about right now we're going to talk about this music so we'll get into all that later um, if you want to listen to this before I go through it and explain each of the individual songs and where I was at or whatever, um, the link is going to be obviously in the description. Go search it, Lonely Highway, Koguru. Um, let me know what you think. Um, so let's get into it. The first song, um, Smoke. Um, I don't know how to do this. Should I play any of it? Mm. No, I won't play it. I don't know. We'll just go through Smoke. Uh, is the first song on the track. Well, first of all, before we get into Smoke, I think it's really fun. I love albums and the flow of albums and putting things into a order that makes sense. And so this is not the order that these songs came out, but it is like an order that I felt gave the actual project when I put them all together a flow. Because obviously I didn't blow up off of putting these songs out every week, but I was like, hey, why not just there? Before this, they were a bunch of singles on Spotify. And I was like, it would be so nice to be able, for my sake, because I like listening to my music sometimes, going back and vibing out. You know, I make stuff that I like, obviously. So putting them all in one project where they were there on Spotify was 
um, something I really wanted to do. They're on my Bandcamp as a project already, so I was like, why not just re-release it on on Spotify? So the first song, Smoke, um, is definitely a song where I was like straight up hip hop. Let's go in. Let's do all of the double entendres, the rhymes, the raps, the similes, the metaphors, the hyperboles, the fucking let's get it out there. Um, I think it's a, I still really like this song and I really like putting it on, um, if I'm trying to just like vibe, it's got like a really good vibe to it, you know? Um, and it's really fun and it's really cool. There's a couple bars in here, um, that I'm really proud of, um, of just like really going in and diving into like hyperbole and simile and metaphor. Um, the beat is sick. I really like the beat. Um, smoke is let's rate each of these smokes are probably a four out of five for me. Um, Smoke's a four out of five for me on this album. Um, and I just decided probably by the time you're hearing this, you already know, but I'm going to put clips of the songs in the background as we're talking about each song. So it's not just <laughs> dead space and it sounds fucking dumb. All right, moving on. Track number two, Hunger. Hungry. <laughs> Hungry. It's called Hungry. This song, so I like I said, I was like, it might not have seemed like it because, again, me and social media... Fuck social media, bro. I want, like, I want to just delete Facebook, Instagram, fucking everything. That being said, I wanted to blow up so fucking bad, dude. I wanted this to be, I like, I don't know why. It made me feel crazy almost, like, and I kept trying new things, like putting out these song, a song a week, like trying, trying to do different things, trying to collab, trying to, I, I ran a bunch of Facebook ads and I was fucking hungry. I was fucking hungry to try and make this shit happen. And that's what hungry's about. And it's, and it's like, honestly, it's kind of fucking cool. I kind of really like this song because the beat was cool. The beat was called Gecko Headbang. And I had crested geckos at the time and my crested gecko <laughs> we were vibing my, I had some homies around and I was like showing a beats and doing stuff. And I remember we were making this beat and I had the gecko and he had like climbed up on the speaker and he was fucking vibing to this beat. So of course we called it gecko headbang. So I made this beat actually smoke. I didn't make, but hungry. I made this beat. Um, so liked this beat, thought it was awesome. Thought it was fun. And the song of course is about being hungry to achieve your goal, to get where you're trying to get, to do what you're trying to do. Right. But, it's all about actually eating and about like <laughs> what what was the bar is like i'm just eating food i go to wendy's then i go to my grandma's house and i get <laughs> i eat all my grandma's food which everyone you know that's the meme is that grandma's like you just ate and she's like did you want some more food are you still hungry and it's like grandma way too much food so i'm like yeah ate all grandma's food left went to the store trying to get some more food to make a casserole because i'm fucking hungry and that was the whole point was I'm hungry for this music shit, and I want to make it happen. I'm sure it was a blessing in disguise. Nothing happens without a reason, obviously. Uh, that did not happen. Um, or at least yet, you know. There's time. Who knows? But um, Hungry has like a 3.5 out of 5. It's like, it's cool. It, it's pretty cool. It's funny. It's 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 whatever, but not the best song I've ever made. Um, okay, on to song number three, The Code. The code. A couple people, my homie told me that this was his like super absolute favorite song. Um, he loved this song, uh, and I love this song too. This song is probably one of the best um, examples of like when I'm in my like zone and when I'm doing my thing. I feel like the code is part of my thing, and and and. I feel like me as a person, you can go back to some of my hermetic videos and a couple of like my, maybe my coming out video and stuff like that about like what it's like to be in the world and to try and figure out, okay, what code am I living my life off of? What am I doing in daily life? How do I hold myself? What standards do I hold myself to? And the code is like that. The code is like, this is my code that I live by. This is the code. If you don't break the code then you're gonna be doing well. And not only that, but the beat is fucking fly. I did not make this beat. Um, the beat is dope, the beat is sick, and I really like this song. I think this is a 4.5 out of five. Definitely not the best song I've ever made, but one of my favorites that I've made, and I really like this song. Um, 
and that's all there is to it just it's a vibey song it's a good song it's just it is what it is it's dope i like it i love it it's great um and so let's move on to the next one how bad do you want it how bad do you want it oh man so this song i'm not so happy about i'm not so great about it's not a bad song i think um but just i feel like in this song you can really feel like how fucking pissed i am and how like set i am on trying to make it big and and just like the feeling and the vibe behind the song is like crunchy it like emotionally feels crunchy like if you didn't understand english and you're just listening to it i feel like you'd feel that crunch sort of and while it's true it's like i think i say in this song you know it's not nothing's like secured nothing's like faded nothing's like totally gonna happen so it's like how bad do you want it and what are you gonna do to get there and do you know what you want and i think there's a couple you know one of the kind of like messages in the song is like do you know what you want and do you know what you need to get there to do it or whatever and I, you know i mean it makes sense and i think that's like part of where i'm at is like i like i am you know there's a part of me guys that's a hustle bro at heart like i'm not gonna deny that all right like that's just what it is but at the same time i'm not the proudest of this song i i wanted it really bad and you can hear it in the song but it just feels desperate a little bit and it just makes me feel crunchy inside and kind of slimy and gross and it's not the best i mean it's like I'd give this one like a two out of five. You can skip this song if you want. It's fine. Okay. On to On The Grind. On The Grind, this beat was a beat that I made. And I was I made it at my old buddy Jose's house. And he had Omnisphere. And I was fucking around with Omnisphere. And I made it in Logic, the beat in Logic Pro. And held on to this beat for a long ass time. And then eventually made on the grind. I wanted to always make something with this beat. And eventually I was like doing this song a week thing. I was like, I'm on the grind. I'm doing this shit. Let's go. Let's do it. And on the grind, I feel like is one of my more like vibey, flowy, kind of metaphysical-esque songs in a couple ways. But it's also just like, you know, we'll get there. If you keep working, you keep doing your thing and you're on the grind, you'll get there, you know? And, and so it is, I feel like, I feel like this is like the p the positive polarity, the light side of how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? It's like fucking pissed, fucking mad, fucking like fucking around, fuckity fuck. On the grind is like a lot cooler, a lot better. <sighs> Mixing and mastering on the song is not perfect. It's a little weird. Um, part of that I think had to do with the way that the beat was. And then, you know, you never hit it 100%. So sometimes when I listen to this song, I think about that. There was also a phase where I didn't put my vocals high enough because I was like, slightly embarrassed of them so i'd like almost hide them in the mix a little bit too much and like you could still kind of hear them but they really need to float on top and i think i was just a little too embarrassed to have them always like right on top um because like obviously i like making music and i love doing music but at the same time i'm like don't look at me so that's weird but on the grind solid 3.8 out of 5 is where i want to put this one because I think the beat's cool, the idea's cool, it just falls a little short, um, but it's fun, I like it. Um, and with that, we're gonna move on to done. <sighs> this one was a little, this one, not a little, this one was really fucking angsty, y'all. This was an angsty ass song. I'm talking about, I'm done with the bullshit, done with the lies done with the fucking bullshit all right and sometimes we all feel like that like i'm not gonna lie sometimes we all get to that point and we all feel like that so you can probably relate this is a vibe this is a song if you're feeling the vibe it's great to pull out and like just get that out but you know it's like again not my favorite i did make this beat this was during my fl studio days when i made this beat in um it's all right. There's some cool things about it. The way it drops in right at the beginning, kind of fucking hot. Let's not lie about that. Um, but besides that, um, it's all right. It's just it's just angry. So if you're in an angry mood and you're really trying to get in there with that fucking angry vibe, this is your song for real. Um, 3.5 out of 5. That's it. Uh, Addicted. All right. Uh, the next song on the list is Addicted. And... <sighs> 
I was addicted. Um, I was. I was addicted to some shit. Um, still am addicted to a couple things. Um, I was doing a lot of cocaine, and uh, there was a couple times where I went a little too far with some stuff, and let's be honest, Therapy helped me out a lot. And if you're struggling, um, highly recommend some therapy, uh, talking to somebody, know that you're not alone, uh, know that you can uh, get to the other side of it. I feel like I am totally on the other side of uh, doing hard drugs, but this song is kind of like just about doing hard drugs and being a fucking addicted and uh, what that's like. I talk about what it would feel like if uh, I had died from an overdose because Let's be real, uh, that shit happens and it's not cool and uh, it happens for a lot of different reasons. And there was a lot of self-loathing going on um, here and there when I was uh, in this phase. And my buddy Current made this beat, shouts out Henry, uh, but I think when I sent him this song after I made it, he was kind of like, yo, what the fuck did you do with my beat? Um <clears throat> Hey buddy, Anubis wants some attention. Um, hey buddy, I don't have any attention to give you right now. I'm making a video. I know. Can you go sit down? I'm I'm a little busy. I'm sorry, buddy. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Those times are over, buddy. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. Um. It's some real. It's some real shit. Um. I was super embarrassed, kind of, when I put this song out. I felt really ashamed because, whether or not it was true, I felt like it was actually really true to my life and what I was going through, but it felt really weird and bad to, like, show that side of me and what I was going through. So, that was a whole ordeal when this song dropped. Uh, this song's like a... It's like a 2.8 out of 5, I think. It's some real ass shit, but we made it on the other side. But it was it was also good to get out. You know, looking back now, I can kind of see that it was like it was good to get out there and have that be a thing. Um, okay, next up, this motherfucking song, y'all. This motherfucking song, Shadows. Oh my god, I was so fucking happy with this song. All right. Oh man, this song's so fucking cool. If you know me, you know I'm big on uh, hermeticism, mythology, and the Egyptian pantheon, Egyptian mysticism. This song encapsulates Egyptian mysticism in song form. Like, holy shit, it's so fucking cool. I was trying to experiment with more singing and doing more singing, and this song I felt like has some really great singing that I did with it to really like flesh it out, and it's kind of in like a round style, and it was so cool, it was so awesome. I'm so in love with this song. One of my favorite songs that I've that I've made. Um, there's a little secret mystery in this song that. Um, I'm not gonna explicitly say here, um, but it's really fucking cool. It's um, kind of hailing Osiris in this in this uh, song, um, but it was around Halloween when I put it out that year, and um, just really really cool. I felt like as far as like the singing and the vibe, you know, as far as the song goes, it was pretty much there. And then as far as like having like a message that also kind of goes along with it, that was there too. Um, really 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 happy with the song 4.9 out of 5 not my best song i've ever made i don't even know if i'd know what my best song i've ever made is but as far as me personally and how i like to make music and what i was doing i totally love this song so shadows gets a 4.9 out of 5 from me not my not the best song on this album even so maybe it's a 4.8 let's give it a 4.8 no, it's a 4.9. It's a 4.9. Shadows is a 4.9 out of 5. Moving on. Anubis. My dog's name, who was trying to get some attention. His name is Anubis. He's back here in the seat right now. Being, making sad faces. I love Anubis. I love Anubis, my dog. I love the Egyptian god, Anubis. I love Egyptian mythology. The god of death. This song is... A hail to Anubis, the god of death in Egyptian mythology. And it's fucking sick. The guy who made this beat, I hit him up after I made it, his beat. I think it's Mayboy Beats. Uh, he he 
made this beat and I hit him up. I was like, yo, here's what I did with your beat. Cause like a lot of times people like, if someone made a beat, a song with my beat, I'd totally love to hear what they did. So I, I was like, here's what I did. And he loved it. He reposted it. It was hype. It was cool. It was dope. And this is another song that I really, really like because it really covers like, like it's really niche. Let's be honest. Like it's really niche. So, so let's just go ahead and give it a four out of five because of the nicheness. If you like Egyptian mythology, not, you know, I know how, how much everyone knows about Egyptian mythology guys. If you like Egyptian mythology and if you could like, if you actually understand any of these references and everything, I think you'd think it's super fucking cool. If not, you'd probably be like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Um, but it's, this is also a song that is a magical spell in a song, which is something I'm working on doing a lot more of. So four out of five, just for the sake that not everybody's going to know it and understand it. But, um, for me, for mine, I'd, I'd say 4.5 out of five. Um, just cause I was so happy with that. I think it's so cool. I thought it was so awesome. Um, so Moving on, take a chance. Take a chance, easily uh, 2.2 out of five, all right? Take a chance is, I made the beat um, on this one. The beat's pretty cool. It's just kinda whatever. It's like, you can't really get anywhere in life if you don't take a chance, and that's true. I mean, if you, you can't get to something new that you haven't experienced before, if you do the same things you've always done, you have to try new things and take risks in order to get ahead in life. Blah, 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 super motivational, positive rap, hype, st hype stuff. I don't like listening to this song too much. It's it's like, all right, like it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like bad or whatever. It's kind of cool, but not my favorite, not the best on this, on this project or out of these singles that I made or whatever, but it is what it is. We're going to move on. Rain, rain, you have to be in the mood and you have to be ready for rain. I feel like Rain, I was on my Kanye shit. I made this beat and I think the beat is fucking sick. I think the song's pretty good overall. And it's really about emotional intelligence, about letting your emotions flow and doing all that type of stuff. So if you're not in the mood, you're not in the mental space, you're not in the, the stage of your life to be ready for any of that, don't worry about it. It's not for you. But if you are, I think it's a great song to like put you in that space and help you get there and do all these things. So Rain probably gets a 3.8 out of 5 for me. Um, pretty good. Got to be in the mood. Some pretty cool references and similes and metaphors in here. Um, and the beat is pretty fucking sick. I got to be honest. But um, so Rain, Rain's pretty good. Rain's pretty good. Uh, moving on, 12 out of 17. 17 fucking tracks on this record. Um, I Miss You. I Miss You was obviously a breakup song, and um, I made the beat for this song too. <sighs> I think this is a really good song overall. I th a solid four out of five. Solid, solid, solid four out of five, I'd say, for this, for this track. Um, and it's really just about breaking up with somebody who was not good for you, but, and, and not good to be with, but you can't help the human emotion of the fact that when they're gone, you miss them. That's just how it works. Even if you know that person was bad for you, you still miss that person. If you, even if you know it was not the right thing for you in your life, you still can't help but miss them. So that being said, the beat, the similes, the metaphors, I was really proud of this the the allegorical and poetic nature of this song um easy four out of five from me on this one um pretty good overall the singing was not excellent i was trying okay number 13 lonely highway the title track for this album holy shit holy shit this song might be the best song i've ever made I think this song might be the best song I've ever made. Five out of five for me. Five out of five for me. I did not make this beat. Maybe it's a 4.9 out of five. Maybe it's a 4.9 and a half out of five because I didn't make the beat. So it's not like, it's a five out of five, bro. Lonely Highway, like this, I want a music video to this song so bad. This song is like, oh, it's got like 70s fucking drums in the beginning and then it just drops in. 
and the singing is like, oh, it like really scripts at you. Now, this song is a very personal song for me because it's kind of outlining, as I've gone through my hermetic journey, studying magic, studying hermeticism, studying mentalism, finding myself, finding who I am and, and what I believe and how I look at the world, there's a point in studying magic where they talk about taking the high and lonely road where it's almost like the more you understand how the universe works the less you can relate to other mundane people and the more the more you meditate the more you become at peace with the way things are and the way the world is sometimes the harder it can be to sympathize with people who are really going through it because you see them going through this motion and this thing at a certain time and 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 we all go through this it's the it's the it's the phase of life you know but as a magician the whole point is to kind of rise above the polarity and the swinging of life <clears throat> to find your center to find the middle pillar and it makes you very stoic but it also makes it very difficult sometimes to identify with people who are at lower baser levels of vibration not a good thing not an egotistical thing it's actually a really sad thing sometimes because all you really want to do is just relate to other people but it gets fucking hard so that pain and that sadness but is kind of what comes through here but there is also that fact of also i wouldn't have it any other way because this is the path i chose this lonely highway through these inner dimensions of studying myself and studying the universe is what i chose and i'm not going to go back from that but that's also sad so personally for me and for what this song means to me in my life and my path on my journey five out of five best song on the album i love it anyway moving on pirouette 4.9 out of five for pirouette okay starting there holy shit <clears throat> this song is so creative i fucking love it this song i made on an app on my phone for the beat and i sat on the beat for a while and i just love this beat um and then the way that it works is that the whole structure of the song is first verse first first section and then a hook and then the second section and the way that the first and the second section work is that the first and the second section have the exact same beginning halves to phrases so if i really want to and i want to want to and i want to those are all the same in the first and the second half of the song but the first half feels disparaged. The first half feels like, oh no, like I can't get things done. I can't do this. I can't do that. Like maybe things will never change. And then the and then the hook is like, wait a second. I found the truth. I found the light. I found the treasure. And I'm going to keep going back to this wellspring of knowledge and wealth and, and inner wisdom. And then in the second half of the song, it's like, wait, now we this first half, we've transmuted the outcome. Now I'm always going to find this. I'm always going to be on the move. I'm always doing this. I'm going to find the gold. I brought the gold back. I'm bringing it home. And it's like, it's, it's a song of transmutation, of taking the lesser and baser and turning it into gold, turning it into light, turning it into high vibrational energy. That's the whole point of the song. And the way is like that I did it. It's like super artistic. I'm super proud of Pirouette. 4.9 out of 5. 4.84 it's it's in that range it's up there all right like this song was one of those songs that came out of this whole experience of making these singles that i thought was just like sick as far as the listening experience i don't know if everybody's gonna be into it but i fucking love it all right <clears throat> song number 15 tell me how you feel um 2.2 out of 5 all right the singing makes me cringe so hard on this song god the singing is it's pretty cr it's I'll listen to it. Sometimes I'll be like, eh, it wasn't that bad. And then most of the time I'm like, oh God, like when does this song end? I think it's a good song. I was going through something obviously with a relationship and trying to communicate and express and throw all of that experience. I kind of came out with this song. Yeah, it's like, all right. It's like, all right, but god let's move on the singing is kind of fucking cringe on this song number 16 this song is the new song that's only available on spotify it's not on the Bandcamp version it's never been released as a single i just had some free time and i was really kind of studying some <clears throat> hermetics and some universal vibrational laws manifestation things and this song is straight up a magical spell 
Um, all this song is is to help tune you toward this philosophy that the universe is mental, the universe is mentalism. You can change your mind, and by changing your mind, you change your reality. So when you listen to this song, I wouldn't listen to it like I'm trying to listen and vibe out and party and dance or whatever, which if you want to and you can get down with this song, like more power to you, I will not stop you. But that being said, this song is more like use this song as a spell to get into the zone to shift your subconscious by repetition to when you're ready realizing that your mind and your mental state and your mental vibration is creating your reality change your mind change your reality change your belief change your reality and so this song is basically a spell that is a song listen to it it is a spell it'll change your life if you allow it to seed into your subconscious so <clears throat> Maybe a four out of five on this one. Uh, last song, closing out the album strong. We only have forever. Now, this song, I was completely smitten and felt completely in love while I made this song. And this song, I was feeling a lot. And sometimes I kind of argue with my feelings. Am I really feeling that? What's really going on here? What's blah, blah, blah. And with this song, I remember just kind of like feeling some of these emotions about a person that I was seeing and I just kind of like let it go and let it come out and the singings it passes all right it passes on this song overall as far as the whole song it's like enjoyable to listen to for me and I made it and so I cringe a lot when I sing um which is most of the time why I rap in the first place um, plus I just love rap poetry. Anyway, the hook on this song is so fucking good. I love this song. 4.8 point, 4.9, 4.9 on this one. We Only Have Forever is one of my absolute favorite songs that I've made. Um, I still think Lonely Highway would beat it as far as my favorite song. We Only Have Forever is up there. It is a love song. If you are feeling that vibe and you are feeling there and you're feeling up there and you're totally head over heels we only have forever is that song and it didn't work out with me and that person if you were wondering um but <clears throat> this song came out of that relationship and it was i'm super happy with this song super proud of this song um i I think I lost track. Pirouette, I made the beat. Tell me how you feel. I did not make the beat. Imagine it's reality. I made the beat. We Only Have Forever is Forgotten. Um, who also did Lonely Highway. Forgotten, Forgotten is a producer. He is absolutely insane. If you've not heard of him, go check him out. Forgotten, produced by Forgotten. Uh, amazing, insane. So We Only Have Forever. It's up there, 4.8, 4.9 ish, maybe 4.8 because the singing isn't like insane. But I I feel like on this song, like as opposed to how bad do you want it, <laughs> or maybe done or addicted, where I'm like it kind of makes me feel a little crunchy. Hungry makes me feel less, but it does kind of make me feel crunchy a little bit. We only have forever is like the opposite it's just you it i can tell the mood i was in when i made it and how good it made me feel and yeah it was just awesome so <clears throat> and then you can see down here these are where all those if you're watching um on youtube you can see down here these are all those singles because i was like let's just put all these singles into one project put it on spotify um, and then I added Imagination's Reality. So that's the only little bonus that you get here. But because I just wanted to put this song out there too, and I didn't want to ironically do another single. So I put it out with uh, this project. So overall, if it were, I would give it, it, it is designed to be listened to from beginning to end. Um, so I would recommend listening to it once from beginning to end to see how you feel about everything. The highlights for me would be the code shadows lonely highway and we only have forever with pirouette being an honorable mention um uh so that's my highlights from the album overall i would give this 
album probably a 3.8 out of 5. I think there's a couple things on here as far as like looking back at what I was going through and the, like what I made and everything. A few of these beginning songs that are kind of more aggressive and kind of as far as their placement here are made to kind of get the project going. They just make me feel really crunchy and kind of like a bad way. But some of these other songs like Lonely Highway and We Only Have Forever and Shadows are like some of my most proud work that I've done to date. So those, I would say, <clears throat> really, really make this project shine. And I feel like it does highlight that time in my life where I was going through a mix of like, yeah, still trying to figure out who I am, what I believe, what I'm going through, these types of things, uh, your relationships, heartbreak, feeling in love and also feeling desperate to try and make this music thing happen and why is that going wrong and what's happening and maybe some of those things give and take between um you know the music issue and all that kind of caused track number seven addicted like the things i'm going through and how i'm trying to self-medicate some of these problems i'm having in my life and these emotions that i'm feeling that i don't know how to cope with and understand so yeah maybe like a 3.8 out of 5 for the whole album for lonely highway so <clears throat> Feel free to go give it a listen. Let me know what you think. What do you like off this album? What do you not like off this album? Do you hate this album? Do you love this album? What do you think? What would you rate it out of five or out of 10 or out of 12 if you're my brother, John? Um, and that being said, we'll catch you on the next one. Next video is probably gonna be another um, Kaibalan video. Um, so stick around, stay tuned for that. I can't wait to get all those together and then put them into another one. And as far as music is concerned, I do have more music that I'm working on. I have an album that I've been working on that I've been teasing on and off on my Instagram years ago. That album is not going anywhere. I listen to it and I cry every so often and it will be finished and it will be put out and I will be making videos about that. That one might be my best album I've ever made. Um, but I've been really focusing honestly on trying to make music that I enjoy that really is my truest expression. And we're gonna make a video about that soon too. Um, so stay creative, get your mind right, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, love, light. I'm out. It's all right.